Hey, what's up guys welcome back to my channel and uh, in this video i'm gonna just show you how you can apply new morphism which is a new kind of design to any of your application using like uh, just one line of code or even less than that so we are going to use velocity x to achieve this and i'm gonna just show you this simple example so uh, now what i have done is like i have created this repository which is velocity x examples and i'll show you how to use multiple widgets in different videos and uh, like uh, to build beautiful designs as well so if you don't know about new morphism then uh, it's uh, this kind of design which you can see right on the screen where uh, you have uh, a background which is of some color and then the items over it uh, looks like uh, having the same color with some shadows different kind of shadows and it gives a really good effect uh, if you'll see the velocity x dot dev website then also you can see the same thing it's also um, implementing that thing new morphism design and uh, the good part is that you know you don't have to do a lot of things if you are using velocity x so let's say this is the normal page neomorphic page and also before you start uh, you just have to remember that in popspec.yml you have to add velocity x so right now the version is 0.2.0 as of now like when i am recording this uh, video um so uh, this is the latest version so now if you'll see this is my neomorphic page and we have a container so let's let me just replace it with a material so uh, one thing you have to make sure whenever you want to have uh, this 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 thing like uh, you know having um, a new morphism design then the background color is really important and you will use the same color all over the place otherwise it won't give you the same effect which you want so let's say for this color i can use something called let's say velocity x and uh, i'll import this library first of all and then what i'll do uh, i'll just say let's say indigo indigo 800 so let's say this is my color and this, this this looks like this okay and then what i'll do i'll have a child here i'll use v stack v stack is actually similar to what uh, you use uh, in column okay and then uh, what i want to do i want to say uh, let's say uh, the alignment i want it as center then cross axis alignment as center as well and then now in the uh, v stack i want to have some text let's say new morphism okay and then now uh, i can also say let's say this is fine dot text so this is how we actually make widgets uh, using velocity x so you can see new morphism is available to us now what i want i want to make a box out of it so box is basically a container and you can give some color to this box make sure you give the same color which you have given to the background so that you can get a better effect so i can say indigo 800 let's say and uh, now we have the box it's not visible right now but you will see it right now like after some time and then you can just say new morphic and you can see we got the new morphism design uh, feedback and then you can make it let's say around uh, so you can say something like rounded and uh, this this will give it a rounded feedback and then inside the box so you can apply padding as well let's say i apply padding of 32 and you can see we are getting this uh, thing right now and even let's uh, give it some width as well let's say width of 300 and uh, then height of uh, let's say 200 uh, 200 is okay 200 is, is 20 so you can see we got uh, this uh, new morphic design already without uh, writing anything i mean uh, just so you can see the lines of code i have added and let's say uh, if i want to um, center this particular thing then i can just say dot uh, align center it's not looking good as of now why because uh, we have to like you know perform few things to make it look even better okay align center so that uh, text will come to the center now we can also make the text as white and uh, let's make it uh, excel so that it looks good and now it's looking better than uh, what we got and uh, you can also make it rounded full so that uh, you can also check in the circle that how it is looking like so yeah that's that's one thing and uh, then if you are not applying so basically there are two rules one is the background color and uh, whatever color you are specifying to uh, a widget which you want to make uh, you know neomorphic then the color would be the same if you don't want to specify the color here let's say and uh, so that it, it will look very ugly 
so in the neomorphic uh, method also you can specify the color let's say we can say velocity x dot uh, indigo 800 uh, so it will be something like uh, this and uh, and also there are few properties like curve and elevation how much elevation you want to give let's say i just want to give 10 by default it has like a 12 of elevation um, let's say if i gave 8 then you can see uh, how it behaves then there is another property called curve you can give a velocity curve so basically there are four curves one is concave second is convex emboss and flat so by default it is concave if i apply convex then you will see a little change in the behavior and then uh, um, similarly you can uh, play with the uh, like uh, applying a flat it will be little different then then uh, you can have something like emboss and then you can see the difference so that's how you can use uh, velocity x um this uh, particular uh, you know pneumorphic method is only applicable on the box which is like a container because you can like make most of the widgets using uh, the box so that's uh, that's the idea let me just make it flat for the time being uh, okay so yeah that's how you can uh, make uh, a use of this pneumorphism design using velocity x and that's it, how it uh, like uh, it's it's very easy right uh, let's say if i change the color to red 800 um, then also let me just show you so it will look ugly until unless you change both the colors so if i change the color here as well then you will see that it looks much much better so yeah that's that's the thing guys so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did press the like button subscribe to the channel to get future updates also you can check velocity x so the links are in the description and also share this video with others and subscribe right now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care